Time to get you a check of the forecast here and this Tuesday looks a lot like Monday. We're going to start off dry. That's going to help for the morning commute and to drop the little ones off at school. You're looking live here across the Peace River. This camera sits at the Sunseeker Resort and we're looking southbound here this morning. One thing we will be dealing with is the heat once again as we have a heat advisory for Collier County. That's going to run from 10 until 6 because we're expecting those heat index values to get well into the triple digits. Actual air temperature will be between 93 and 95 in some locations and you factor in the high humidity and that's when it feels 105 to 109 and gets a little dangerous out there this late in the summer. You know what to do. Stay in the AC if you can drink plenty of water. Find some shade if you got to be or work outside later on today. Uh, we will see showers and thunderstorms cool us off later on, but we are starting off dry. That should be the case for the rest of the week as well because this east to westerly wind is going to continue. That sparks early morning showers for I-95 and A1A and for us we wait for the afternoon stuff. You see around lunchtime a couple of showers near the lake, but it'll be later on 3 o'clock where we start to see those showers and storms bubble up. They'll peak there between 4 and 7 and the computer modeling today showing the showers and thunderstorms lasting just a little past sunset there at 9 o'clock, but they'll quickly be out of here by midnight. As far as the actual rain amounts yesterday, we picked up almost an inch in Fort Myers that was uh, shy of the record at 2.37 set back in 1968. And you can see those temperatures this morning, upper 70s. We are just a little warmer than yesterday yesterday as the wind is out of the east here. It will begin to gust and we'll see that pick up 10 to 15. But as long as we've got this wind across the state, we're going to keep showers and thunderstorms in play. This is a look at tomorrow. We're dry in the morning, but around three o'clock those thunderstorms go up. You see the coverage there uh, quite expansive there from Sarasota all the way through Fort Myers through six and like clockwork it will dissipate a little bit drier air works in on Thursday. I've got the rain chance down to about 50%, but that's temporary because the moisture comes surging right back here here for the Labor Day weekend. Quickly, I want to check on the tropics. National Hurricane Center watching an area now that just to the east of the Windward Islands. We are starting to approach the peak of the season since Ernesto. It's been really quiet uh, right now. That chance of development is low at 20%. We will keep you updated here in the days ahead. Your seven day forecast keeps the afternoon showers and thunderstorms around 60 to 70% over the weekend into Labor Day.